We lost a giant carp and mostly uh, bluegill, big ones that were probably good to eat. So uh, I'll show you the pond. It's pretty nasty. Um, so anyway, just a second. We have been taking out some poison ivy over here and flowers are doing really well. I'll show you more of those in a minute. Um, hello, I'm doing a video. What? You're not in it. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna... Ooh, there's a dead fish over here. There's a dead fish on the... on the ground over here. I was wondering what was stinking. Like I say, I won't show you any of the gross stuff. Right here. Something must have grabbed it. And or are you taking it out? Okay. But yeah, it's been a crazy couple days. But, um. Stupid flies. But you can see the pond here, and I'll show you a little more on the gazebo. But it's, um, covered in algae. And it's been, uh,. Growing because we've been having a heat wave here, and um, it's been really humid and murky. It's just the perfect conditions for algae to grow. So, <sighs> and unfortunately, at night, algae respires. So that means it takes in oxygen, which it and in the daytime it will help fish a little bit, but it grows and grows and grows, and so that at night it covers the pond and that's what happened a couple days ago it just grew out of control and the next morning we started having fish kill anyway I'll show you the little bit of the gazebo and from the gazebo and then I think we'll stop now for there um, yeah he's been clean trying to clean it out as best he can he had the aerator going for a few hours, but um, it didn't seem to help doing it just for a few hours. So he's been running it 24-7 since this fish go started. <sighs> what a pain and what a sad moment, but we're learning. We're still learning. Oh, Cicada just fell in the pond and is dying. I'm sorry. I hear you. So there you go, folks. Oh, there's fish flopping and probably the smaller ones trying to survive this. It just keeps growing and growing and growing. It's really hard to keep up with. It's emotionally and physically exhausting to work at this. I need to get my waders on and start helping. But anyway... Thanks for your support and um, comments. Uh, I, if anybody has a pond and has any suggestions, I mean, we can't put any copper in it right now because that would deplete more oxygen. So, look at those fish trying to jump and get more oxygen. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.